Hey guys, we're back in the shed again tonight, but this is just a real quick um, answer to a couple of questions. Now, Mark out there had asked me about the oil of wintergreen, what it's called in Fr French, and since I don't speak French very good, even though I'm married to a French girl, here I'm going to put it on here so you can see it. Huile de thé de bois. Okay. That's what it's called, Mark. And you can get it, well, here in Manitoba, I've been to two different uh, pharmacies and they both had it. So it's a fairly common product here. And somebody else had asked me about, they wanted to see how the feet turned out the way I do them because he had one done for himself just at home and he'd done the feet in a tube and it was just like a, a wrinkled up bag of well, you know anyways it didn't look very nice but here's with the claws on so you know obviously your pads turn white when they're tanned and here's the pad that is cut off to the side Hole. you see it sticks out like that and you know no matter what it's going to dry up when it's tanned when they do the mounting these things get soaked in water and stretched and pulled out and, and brought back to their proper shape and then the pads get painted of course the black um, so it does I mean if you're just having a you know a tanned wolf for yourself hanging on the wall doing them open like this not in the tube is you know will look a lot better but uh, anyways, we're just, uh, I'm just in skinning that wolf while I, I finished skinning it. But uh, I'm just doing the, uh, I'm going to scrape it now. And here I might as well show you what the uh, ears look like too. Just in case somebody asks them. Uh, Oh, it's going to be a pain to get this thing through here. But anyways, the ears, you know, the inside cartilage is just a balled up little deal. It's not, you know, it just, once it is ready for tanning, it gets soaked too. See, that's the ear cartilage that you leave on right there. It's just a dried up deal that gets soaked up and put back in place to look natural so but you know when a you know for a nice gray wolf you know this is a pretty nice nice looking one um this other the gray that i you guys saw in the video i skinned it for market i'm gonna do a little test it took me i don't know about 35 minutes i guess to skin the thing didn't play with the feet. I'll show you what I did with the feet here. This is skinned. It's just a utility wolf, and I'm skinning this thing just for you know the have the fur for the trim trade. I left the claws on here and everything to get scalped her down there. I'm gonna send it to the sale, and when I get the results back, I'll broadcast a video to see what it was worth as a utility wolf just for you know fur trim for parkas and whatnot because it was not an animal that was going to get mounted it was just your plain old tawny gray crappy timber wolf already oh and there was one other thing somebody had asked me um oh yeah he uh he wanted to he, he had said that he wished he had started trapping when he was young like last night I mentioned in the video that I started trapping when I was 13 but he wished he had started but you know he's 40 and just getting into it and then you know wishes he had a you know and I kind of mentioned well you know it's weird how people get started in this because like I, I said last night I had not one person in my entire family hunted or trapped you know my dad took us fishing once in a while but you know the whole thing was 
you know, I mean, I was sneaking out into the bush and playing around when I was a little kid and stuff like that. But, I, you know, trapping never entered my mind, none of that. You know, in, in public school, I picked up that book, Trap Lines North, um, read it, and honest to God, for the next, you know, I think I was 10 years old when I first read that book. And for the next three years, I, I probably read the book once a month. And, and that's what just drove that passion into me to go trapping. Um, you know, the only thing I'm thankful for is I didn't pick up a book on crocheting or something. Holy crap, that would be horrible. But anyways, okay, I'm just going to, I'll put this video on. Can you imagine me sitting in there just crocheting up a storm? Yeah, good luck with that. Anyways, I'll put this video on later and then I'm going to be uh, out in the bush tomorrow pulling all the traps. And, uh, and then I guess that'll be last video for a couple weeks while I'm down at the sports show. Um, oh, and guys, yeah, my booth number, were, that was the other thing too. Somebody wanted to know what booth I was in because they wanted to come for a visit. It's, it's listed under Cormorant Lake Lodge in the Outfitters building and it's 5907, the booth number. Alrighty, I'm hoping that was, I remember the number right, what he told me. 5907. Alrighty guys, have a good night. Later. Yeah guys, update on that uh, booth number. It's not 5907, it's 5709. Sorry, my dyslexia kicked in there for a little while. But anywho, okay, 5709. Have a good night. Hey guys, um, just wanted to throw in there too that um, I got that Tundra to the mechanic and he said what I best order and try and find is the stator with all the electrical parts attached, not, nothing. So that way you don't have to go cutting wires and splicing and, and soldering and doing stuff like that. So I'm going to check on the, uh, the scrap yards that you guys, the information that you sent me which I really appreciate the help everybody and uh, but if anybody else has one out there too just let me know because I'm also going to look for another coil for it another CDI box um, it's just uh, like I said those those parts are getting real hard to come by so I because the rest of that machine is in such perfect shape I want to get some spare parts for it in case this happened again I don't want to be searching all over Hell's half acre for it. So, if you guys have anything you want to sell, any of those parts, just let me know. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna double check on the the scrapyard websites that you gave me too. Alrighty, thanks a lot.